We're told that f of seven is equal to 40 plus five e to the seventh power. And f prime of x is equal to five e to the x. What is f of zero? So to evaluate f of zero, let's take the antiderivative of f prime of x, and then we're going to have a constant of integration there. So we can use the information that they gave us up here, that f of seven is equal to this. This might look like an expression, but it, well, it is an expression, but it's really just a number. There's no variables in this. And so we can use that to solve for our constant of integration, and then we will have fully known what f of x is, and we can use that to evaluate f of zero. So let's just do it. So if f prime of x is equal to five e to the x, then f of x is going to be equal to the antiderivative of f prime of x, so the antiderivative of five e to the x dx. And this is the thing that I always find amazing about exponentials. And actually, let me just take a step. I'll take that five out of the integral so it becomes a little bit more obvious. And so the antiderivative of e to the x, well, that's just e to the x, because the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, which I find amazing every time I have to manipulate or take the derivative or antiderivative of e to the x. So this is going to be 5e to the x plus c. And you can verify, take the derivative of 5e to the x plus c. The derivative of 5e to the x, well, that's 5e to the x, so that works out. And the derivative, well, and the derivative of c is zero, so you wouldn't see it over here. So now let's use, Now let's use this information to figure out what c is so that we know exactly what f of x is, and then we can evaluate f of zero. So we know that f of seven, so when x is equal to seven, we're going to, this expression is going to evaluate to this thing, 40 plus five e to the seven. So five times e to the seventh power plus c is equal to 40 is equal to 40 plus five e to the seventh power. And notice all I did is said, okay, f of seven. Well, if this is f of x, f of, let me write this down. So if this is f of seven, if this is f of x, I just replaced the x with a seven to find f of seven. And we know that f of seven is also going to be equal to that. They gave us that information. But when you just look at this, It's pretty easy to figure out what c is going to be. You can subtract 5e to the seventh from both sides, and you see that c is equal to 40. And so we can rewrite f of x. We can say that f of x is equal to 5e to the x plus c, which is 40. And so now from that, we can evaluate f of zero. f of zero is going to be 5 times e to the zero power plus 40. e to the zero is one, so it's going to be five times one, which is just five, plus 40, which is equal to 45. And we're done.